Why actors' talent release forms are important? First of all, let me tell you this. After your actor has agreed to star in your film, that is the moment you ask them to sign what is called an actor's talent release form. Do not wait until you begin shooting your film. If they say they will do it later, no, they will sign it now for you. If you want to release your film to the public and they refuse to sign the form, my advice is to forget about them and find yourself another actor who will. I'm going to tell you what can happen if you don't have your actor or actor sign the release forms and how this can hurt your film. So, you've just completed post-production and are ready to release your film that you put all your hard work and sleepless nights into making for the whole world to see. That could be YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch or Daily Motion, and then it'll be shared all over social media such as Facebook. However, there is just one problem. One of your actors or actresses does not like the idea of their role in your film to be available for the rest of the world to see. It could be that they don't want people to recognise them in the streets and pester them just because they were in a film. Maybe they feel they'll be harassed and judged constantly about the role that they portrayed in your film and they feel that they will be an easier target for exploitation and cyberbullying. If you have created a film and are a second away from releasing it online, then you will want to check and ensure that you have everyone who appeared in it sign an actor's talent release form. If they have not, then they have every right to request you do not upload your film online, then they can force you to remove it from any media platform that it is currently streaming on. However, if they've already signed an actor's talent release form and ticked off all the current conditions on how the film will be released, then there is not a single thing that they can do about it, because they already agreed to it. A release form is a legal agreement that you will have made with your actor that grants you permission to use their face, voice, likeness and name in your film. This means that you can film them specifically for the purposes of your film and your film only as long as they have also accepted the role as well. Once they have signed this form, you are free to use any image, footage or audio clips as you please as long as it is under the current conditions met with on the release form. What I mean by that is that if they have chosen the option of only appear in the film itself and not on any promotional posters, for the marketing of the film, let's say they were okay with having their image on the magazine but not a website, they can tick off any of those boxes and there is nothing you can do about it. You may think it is strange that someone might allow their image used in your film but not want to be displayed on any of the promotional marketing of the film. The reason for this is to actually keep yourself as a filmmaker and the actor covered so that there aren't any difficulties that would have you cornered with any sort of legal action. If your actor has not signed the release form and they can refuse to do so if they wish, but you decide to release the film to the public anyway without their consent and they have asked you to take the film down and you've ignored them, then you could find yourself in pretty big trouble and taken to court. You can of course censor their face by blurring it or by dubbing over their voice, but that wouldn't normally work for the type of film you made, would it? Well, not for your generic film unless it's a documentary, then it's fine. You see it all the time, especially on the news channels. If your film was made for educational purposes such as school or college, a release form may not be that important. You can also upload your film onto websites such as YouTube and set it to private. This means that while the film is still online, you can share a link to a certain number of people who would like to see it. That is, if you trust all those people not to pass the link on to their friends and other people you don't know if you could trust or not. The disadvantage here is that one of those people could download or even screen record the film onto their device and re-upload it online onto their YouTube channel as such. The film would be online and you probably wouldn't be able to do much about it. Then your actor who refused to sign a release form would be all up your back with the courts. Believe me, you will be sorry if you leave the actor's release form to the last minute and you will look back reflecting and kicking yourself. If your actor likes the rule but is unsure about signing the consent form for whatever reason, then there's only one thing I can say. Get rid of them and find another actor. Because this person will just keep tripping you up, especially if you decide to begin filming all of their scenes. You see, the problems that can arise when forms aren't filled in. If you've already filmed their scenes, with that actor and they refuse to sign the release form, then you will have to recast their role and reshoot all the scenes that are already included with them in it. I cannot stress this enough to all of you aspiring filmmakers, this is extremely important and is the first thing you should do during pre-production of your film. If they don't sign the form, you can't release your film to the public and the only person to blame is yourself. So how do you ask your actors to sign the release form? Honestly, tell the truth. This is a project that you are really passionate about and that they will be given the honour of helping you make it happen. Let them know how beneficial they are in making this film happen, what it means for the film and what it means for you. If you didn't have your actor, your film wouldn't be made, well at least not the way that you want it. Encourage your actor to read the terms and conditions displayed on the form and how it applies to their rights. They will also take you a lot more seriously because this will show that you care about your film and will be really happy to have their involvement in it. Also, even if the actor has a small role in the film, 
There is always the possibility that their scenes could be cut from the film due to creative reasons or pacing issues. It happens all the time. Whenever you're asking them to sign the release form, explain to them exactly what the form is about and what it means for you and the actor for the film. Don't just show it in the face and say, sign this. You can download many free actors release forms anywhere from the internet. However, it's also good to have a solicitor if you're in the UK or a lawyer if you live in the US. They'll be able to explain whether or not these release forms that you are going to use abide by the laws. So make sure that you find the correct release form that fits appropriately for the country's laws and if it does not, then just apply the necessary readjustments so that it does. Happy filmmaking, folks.